Excuse me. I've seen you around the gym. I was wondering if you wanted to like learn how to deadlift today. All right, we have a specimen here. We're gonna see if she's interested to learn how to deadlift today. We're gonna, to, don't do this. You don't wanna interrupt girl sets, but I think we have enough value to offer, so it's gonna be okay. Excuse me, I've seen you around the gym. I was wondering if you wanted to like learn how to deadlift today. Yeah. I think I can help you out quite you a bit. You can help me? You can I, know, I know I can. Okay, all right. All right, all right we'll do some conventional and sumo. Okay, sumo's my favorite though. Sumo's your favorite, me too. All right, you ready? Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's see what you got. So first things first, when choosing a deadlift bar, if you're at a gym that has quality bars, you wanna choose a bar. What do you wanna train on? Do you want a stiff bar like this, a Rogue Ohio Power Bar, or do you want something like this right here? This is my trusty Texas deadlift bar. Now the difference is a deadlift bar is gonna be half a foot longer, it's gonna be, I believe, a millimeter thinner depending on the deadlift bar. That's gonna allow for more whip. The bar is gonna bend more. What does that mean? It means that once you get a bunch of weight on there, the bar is gonna start bending and you're actually gonna be at a higher starting position by the time the weight even breaks off the floor. So it's almost like you're doing a mini rack pull. So essentially, generally, you can do more weight. Now, if you're not used to a deadlift bar, the bending can actually throw you off and you can miss groove, lose balance, etc. But generally, you're gonna be able to pull more weight with a deadlift bar. So let's go ahead and get my trusty Texas deadlift bar. All right, so what's your deadlift experience like? Not great. Not great? No. Well, let's see. We'll start you with 135. Let's start with conventional, even though sumo's your favorite. Okay. Let's play around with conventional, see where you're at, and then we'll go on to sumo, have some fun. Okay, how many reps? So you're gonna max out. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, just hit a few reps of conventional right now. All right, let's see where she's at here. Oh, gosh. You're good, just go. Nice. That's pretty good. Good, so she's clearly driving her hips through. She has tightness in her lats. Looks pretty good. Good, try to fall back a little bit more. As you set it down, as you sit into this rep, try to, so yeah, but not too low. Don't sink your hips so low, but try to scoop your hips in while sitting your chest up. On the pull. Yeah. Good, that's good. Again, very good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad for a first timer. <laughs> Let me take these off. Okay. All right, so that was a pretty good first set. What we're gonna focus on next is making sure she's packing her lats a little more. And really it's just about her technique as she scoops her hips in because there's a little hesitation. She either squats too low before she pulls or she lets her hips shoot up. So the goal is to really find a perfect position of her hips as she sits into it and make sure that she has her chest up as she pulls so that her hips don't shoot up and then chest comes with it. All right, okay. let's hit another set here. Now this time, what I want you to focus on, just rotating your elbow and packing your lats tightness here. Okay. And just, at, just falling. So sitting back, and as you're sitting, making sure that you're, you're bringing your chest up. Elevate your sternum as you're pulling, and kind of fall backwards almost. Okay, I'll try. All right, let's see it. Conventional, though? Yeah, one more conventional. So packing... Again, I also want you to, to screw your feet into the ground and build tightness out here, so that you're literally, you're literally rotating your feet out like this, and you're driving your knees against your arms almost. Mm. Good. Yes. Good, just try to get your chest up and drive your hips through. Good, that was better. Fall back, chest up, good. Second set, it's already improving. Good. Not bad. Let's go into sumo now. But you probably need a second to rush, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's good. <laughs> so see how she's just pulling straight up? She's kind of just squatting the right up. She's just driving her hips straight down. And if you notice her hips, do another. Watch her hips. They're just shooting straight up. There's no scooping in, right? So what we want is instead of this shooting straight up, do another one. We want to scoop her hips in. So now do one where you're trying to drive your knees out and scoop your hips into the bar. Exactly. See how much better that is? 
When you can pull yourself, when you can pull tension in the bar like that, you're gonna have a, a much stronger pull, and you're gonna be much safer as well. Do it again. Big breath. See how she's driving her hips in and driving her knees out. That's exactly what we want to see. That's a good set. <laughs> I'm dying. Trying to be better. So, all right. All right. Next set here. Good. Tight core. There you go. See how she's scooping her hips in. That motion right there is so important for sumo. That's what we're focusing on. Drive the hips. Good. So she's packing her lats, she's tightening her core, and she's sinking her hips while driving them and driving her knees out. Perfect. Love to see it. That's how you get a strong pull. We need to put more weight on her. Good. Very nice. Easy work, but we need more weight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like baby how does weight. That feel? <laughs> It feels better, honestly. For real, the scooping, it's like more fluid. Can I do it? <laughs> yeah. So chalk. We're chalking up here. Magnesium carbonate is it, I think? It's gonna help your grip a lot. I'm sure most of you know that. We're gonna chalk her up here. And we're gonna, we have 225 on the bar now. So let's see if you can pull this. This is a big jump, <laughs> but we like to be a little ignorant, have some fun for the video. So I would recommend taking a smaller jump, maybe jumping to 185 first, but I think she can handle it. Let's see. Mixed grip. So here's a demonstration of where mixed grip is needed, right? Because with 135, she can double overhand it all day. But now the, the weight's pretty heavy, so she needs to do a mixed grip. Good. Let's go. Tight core. Drive the hips. You got it. Come on. Very good. That's surprising. Come on. Good. Drive it. Keep going. Come on, Kate. No. Good. You lost balance. That happens. Yeah, so that's how, something that happened. Why did that happen? Because I like, pulled back too much? Yeah, so that's the thing when you're trying to optimize your technique. If you're falling back into it, it's easy to miss groove. And then if you lose balance, you're going to fall backward. Okay. So that shows that your technique is at least you're trying to do the correct thing. Okay. That was, that was pretty good, son. You should pull 315 soon with straps and a belt. Yeah, maybe. No, definitely. Yeah, it actually didn't feel too bad. Also, for those of you that don't know, mixed grip is going to be much easier, as I mentioned, or hook grip. Why is this? If you're trying to grip the bar double overhand, the bar is rolling in the same direction. It's rolling out of your hand. If you have mixed grip, now the bar is rolling this way in this hand and the opposite way in the other hand. That's why a mixed grip is going to be much stronger to hold on to than a double overhand. So if you're new to deadlifting, you were trying to deadlift with double over and you literally can't even hold on to the bar, try a mixed grip. Your grip is going to be way, way stronger. Like, a um... quarter. All right, guys. I don't want her to know, but we're putting a bunch of weight on because I'm kind of, I'm a little um, worried. She's getting too big, so I'm gonna try to get her in. <laughs> oh, I think she heard me. All right, quarters. You're gonna do this just fine. You're not gonna get hurt. I swear. Big brace in your core, okay? <laughs> Good. Just like that. What did you say? Well, actually, inhale. Don't exhale. I said big brace in your core. Okay. Tight, come on, and keep pulling, give it patience. Don't you gotta be patient with sumo. Okay. It'll, it can be slow off the floor and then it'll skyrocket to lockout. <laughs> I don't know. Tight, get angry, chest up, drive the hips through. Pull it, you got it, yes. PR right there. Let's rep this, three reps at least, come on. Good. Patience with it. Stick with it, tight core and just keep pulling it. Go, go, go. Nice. Wow, <laughs> 315 in no time. No. That, you just I hit a lifetime PR, top set of three. So I'm gonna project that her one rep max is at least, I was gonna say like 290, but maybe 300 That's still plus. baby weight. But... 325 in no time for sure. Okay, we'll work on Very that. Very good, you probably could have grinded that for like two more. Dude, no. Good shit, oh my God. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not good, no, come on. It's... 275 for three. I was just trying to get her injured and it didn't work. All I did was just boost her fucking confidence and ego. Now I'm in even more trouble. <laughs> nice. All right. Drop some comments below on any questions you have. I know I didn't cover everything. 
I could make this a two hour long video, but we're gonna call it there for now. Hopefully you guys gain some value. We'll make a part two. If you have some questions, leave it below. And, um, like, comment, subscribe for sure. Peace out boys, have a good day and happy deadlifting.